Now we believe that God is the author of marriage and the final and complete authority of how marriage is intended to be. The world has the idea of marriage is simply a legal contract. It is, we don't make light of that fact, but at the same time, it's a spiritual covenant. When the Word of God is spoken in faith between two born-again believers, the power of God goes into operation. An actual miracle takes place when the faith of these two people is placed in God's Word. God honors their faith and brings them together as one. Andrew, do you take Sarah as your wife, as your own flesh, to love her and care for her for the rest of your lives? I do. Okay, then make this confession of faith. I, Andrew Cody Mathis. I, Andrew Cody Mathis, according to the Word of God, join myself to you, to be a husband to you. I promise to love and honor you. From this moment forward, we shall be one. Sarah, do you take Andrew as your husband to honor, respect, and cherish with the same type of sincerity you have for the Lord for the rest of your lives? Make this profession of faith. I, Sarah Marie Ziegler. I, Sarah Marie Ziegler, according to the Word of God, submit myself to be a wife to you. I promise to love and honor you from this moment forward. We shall be one. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, I now pronounce you as one together. You are husband and wife. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> it is my honor and privilege to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Andrew and Sarah Mathis. Woo! Ladies and gentlemen, if I could please ask everyone to stand for me. Please put your hands together. Help me congratulate and welcome your king and queen of the night, Mr. and Mrs. Mathis. Keep us down.